What's up everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game here with Nintendo Labo for Nintendo Switch. Tonight we are going to be making the house, I believe. Yeah, the house. Okay, so let's jump right into that right now. So far I've been uh, very satisfied with this product. Alright, the Toy-Con house. My Joy Cons activated, alright. And that's what it looks like in reverse. Cool, pretty cool. Alright, so going forward. Five steps to complete. Looks like the house, the knobs, the whatever those are, okay. Let's see, the plastic bag. Yeah, make sure I have that still. And I've already used some of the stuff in it from uh, a couple videos, uh, last video actually. Okay, we'll use this later, so I'll just keep that on the side. Step one of five, making the main body. Alright, so it looks like we're going to need a lot of pieces from A and B. Let's open that up. I'm going to move these to the side for now. Those are from the fishing rod, which we've already completed. So, let's see. We got the roof here. That's the first piece from A. Got that right here. It looks like, yeah, this piece punches right out. Alright, so there's that. And then, also from A, we need... This is A. Yeah, this is. Oh, you know what? This is the. This is. Uh... Yeah, this is the A, but this is not the what I'm. What I needed. Okay. I'm gonna move that over. So not this. So it's this is A. Got it. Okay. That's why I'm confused here. All right. So there's that. And what else do we need? We need this piece right here. Very careful not to bend any of these pieces just yet. At least until they until we know what they're for. Yeah, this one's gonna be like a Joy-Con holder or something. And I'm gonna need this piece too. Alright. Almost knocked the box over. Punch some holes out real quick. I want to do this ahead of time so you don't have to do it later. I think that's everything in this one. Yep, alright. Then this piece right here. We have these little tabs. Let's punch these out. And then from part B. Oh yeah, we got a lot of parts to this. Okay, we only have like D, A through D. So I'll pull those to the side. Uh, we're gonna need, so they said eight pieces. Wow, it's a lot. Alright. I need this piece right here. Punch that out. We're going to need this one. And between videos, I actually did play around with the fishing rod a little bit more. <laughs> Turns out you can go a lot deeper. I actually caught a great white uh, shark. That was uh, that was fun. But with that uh, game, you gotta basically have to know when to reel it in, when to let it let, well, let it out a li little bit so the line doesn't snap. And one more thing, I will be going back, there's a discover option, I will be going back to some of the other toy con creations in later videos to do that. I just didn't want the videos to run too too long, Some of, uh, the last one was an hour and a half, so. 
I'm gonna do a video that long. I want it to be entertaining for that long, you know? Right, I mean, right now, yeah, this is real entertaining watching me play with cardboard. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Just punching the holes out for this piece. This is the one. This is one of the creations I'm actually. I've actually been looking forward to uh, trying out. So that one's out. Uh, then we have this one. Looks like a big old zero. Same with this one. Another big old zero. No doubt they fold to some. They fold into something. And I gotta love the origami elements of this. Whoever designed this is. I wouldn't say oh I wouldn't say genius but very creative. All right, so we'll hold on to the rest of this later. That's the B part. So let me make sure I got this all right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, should be all the pieces right here. Let's move forward. And remove three pieces from C. Yep, I didn't think it was over. <laughs> Don't bend these either. So first we're going to need... I like how easy it is to punch it out too. It's not like it doesn't take too much force. It just takes a very light amount of strength to remove each piece, which is good because this is for just six and up. So that piece is out, and then we got this one more piece right here. This looks like it's going to be the main front, or the back of the house. No, the front of the house. Okay. And punch this out. Punch these out. Okay. Wow. That is 11 pieces, almost. Yeah, that's not 11 pieces exactly. Got it. Okay. Don't forget, if you have any trouble, you can use the back and forward button. Check everything how it fits. Make sure the pieces are the pieces the right way up. Notice which side is pinning. Okay, so we're going to start with, I think, it was the Joy-Con holder piece. Ooh, I'm, I'm all messy right now. I'm all disorganized. Okay, there we go. So it's this piece right here. Key to good toy con construction is to fold lines. Always check. So yeah, this one right here. I'm gonna move my my uh, controllers to the side. Here we go. So let's see. Hold that one there. Fold this one up here. That one up there. Careful not you not to bend it in certain sp in certain spots. Just because it bends in certain spots doesn't mean you should bend it there. All right. All right. Next, we're gonna fold this piece over. Did that. Looks like we fold this one. Yep. Fold that one up. I want to be careful I don't tear it. That one also folds up. Okay, then they stay vertical. Let's start building. Sounds good. Okay. Ah, all right, so that's how it fits in. All 
Alright, got that. Alright, just like that. So the first part's done. Now for the ceiling that sticks out of, first make sure to crease all the three tabs. Let's see, where is that piece? Is that it? No, that is not it. Here it is. Yes. Alright. So we'll move that right here. And this one right here. Turn it over. Gotta give the tabs a good crease. Creasing, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now watch carefully to make sure you put it in the right way around. <laughs> Slide the chimney through the through all the way. All right. That can be a little tricky. So yeah, it fits in just like that. Alright, so if I'm... You slide all the way, you should be able to see a tiny gap under these tabs at the base of the chimney. Oh uh, yeah, okay, yeah, there's definitely that gap there. Alright. Probably gonna squeeze some other stuff in there later on. Alright. Now we need the two zero looking pieces. These are the stoppers. They're exactly the same. Good to know. Turn them over. Give them a good fold. They should fold neatly in half. Excellent. I love it when a plan comes together. Alright, good. These are like little makeshift washers, which I think were pretty brilliant. Let's see, slide that one in there. Yep. Same deal with this into the little gap. Alright, so that's done. Do Alright. And now we need this big old piece. This one that looks like it's going to fall apart. Not really fall apart, just it's got a lot of creases in it. Okay, this, so now, okay, now the house will really start to take shape. This piece is going to form the floor and the side walls. Excellent. So, fold that over there. Cool. Fold that. This one up. Oh, there's a little tab I missed. Okay, for this part, we're going to need the sponge stickers from the plastic bag. They're all exactly the same. Good to know. Alright, good. I found, uh, I think we got two sponge stickers. Yeah, alright. So we got the sponge stickers. Okay, so there's two on each one. Now we're going to stick one half of the sponge sticker on either side of the piece. Make sure 
The printed side is face down. All right, yeah, that's that's we got that we got that right here. Okay. So one goes right there. All right. This is gonna be a little tricky. You got some surgical work going on here. Gotta peel this off first before I get anywhere. Here we go. Okay. With surgical precision. Okay, I think that's I think that's just like that. Yep. All right, same with this one now. So the other half goes over here. Okay, I think that one was a little sloppy, but it worked. Exactly in the right place. So we did that. All right. Next, we need the marker stickers from the plastic bag. On like the sponge sticker, these ones come in all sorts of shapes. I think this is it right here. Yep. Okay. think yo no this is it yeah okay so it's the medium sized one okay I want to make sure I'm right about this yeah all right so yeah this piece right here is gonna go right down here Yeah, parent, yeah, kids, get your parents to help you assemble this. <laughs> It'll drive them insane. <laughs> really, ages six and up. <laughs> Okay, that one might be a little lopsided, but it's good. Hopefully. Alright, that one went there. Good. Now we fold these tabs up, fold the edges of the window into inward firmly. Same with this one, inward for firmly. Yeah, and that one. Try and do this with two with one hand right now. Alright, works better with two hands. Tip. So this all folds together now, it looks like. Excellent. Same deal with this one.
Alright. Great, now we have the structure for the house. So we grab this piece next. We're going to fold to turn that over. Let's see, we'll move these to the side. I'll try and stay organized as much as I can. Alright, so we got this piece right here. And fold the five tabs into place. Oh, that's six tabs. Okay. I don't know why I thought. If I, I saw five, then I, saw, I looked again and saw six. Okay. This is gonna go right on top. It's like building a gingerbread house out, except out of cardboard. <laughs> now the whole now take the whole piece and slide into the opening of the house in the house's floor. There it goes. Get that piece fit in. Oh. Pops right in. Good. Alright. Okay, now we take the L piece. This one right here. There's a little L on there. Look at that. Uh, or the left one, if you know what I mean. Yep. That over, fold all the sides up, fold that side up, that one up, and a little tabby. All right. So it looks like this piece is going to connect to this piece. Oh, look at that. They're even labeled. Oh. It's a good thing, too. I almost connected to the LDR. <laughs> Slides on top, and then, yep, slide that into the roof. Okay. Looks like we're going to do the same with this one. Alright, so same second verse, same as the first. Probably know where this is going to happen yet. Slide it right in there. Okay, that's in. So it should be like that. Now to hoist the chimney into place on top of the house. Are you feeling like a real construction worker yet? Not at all. <laughs> I feel like I'm building a model really, like a model house. Or like a Lego set, almost. <laughs> right, so that's in. It's in there. Yep, pops right in. There we go. Alright, looking pretty good so far. Now we need this piece right here. Turn it over. Get folding. Increase the four tabs on the sides. Oh. 
How much of that those tabs want us to decrease? Okay, so not all the way, just like halfway. Got it. Okay. Now turn the side over on the print side, face up, and fold the bottom lines into the opposite direction. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so it's supposed to look like that. So it kind of folds over a little bit, yeah. And then this piece is going to go right on top of here. Slide into the bottom gap and carefully into this gap. Okay. Just like that. Okay, we'll push the bottom into there. Good. Now this one up here. Same deal with this. That one goes in there. And this one. That's cool, so that's why they did that. You hit those, uh, those tabs kind of like with a extra little edge to it. So you can snap it all in. Alright, so it should snap be snapped in pretty well. Yeah, that is solid. Alright. That is a solid build. We got a birdhouse. <laughs> Alright, then we need this piece right here. So it looks like we have to fold every one of those. that so yeah get every one of those folds looks like this is gonna roll up yep to a long there we go just like that yep all right so now where is this thing snap into looks like bottom here Okay, let me make sure I'm doing that right. Okay, so there's little little nick marks on it. Yeah. Okay, and there's a little color on it too to show you that it should line up. Yep. All right. And then the final piece. Looks like to be the roof. Alright, now I'll fold the two tabs up. And the moment of truth, we're going to, yep, slide it right on top. I guess the tabs go into little notches of the roof. Let me get a better angle on that. Yeah, okay. Uh, 
There it goes. And that one right there popped right in. Oh yeah, that is looking pretty solid. Yeah, that one pops in there, that one pops in right there. And that is our house. Okay, next we're going to make three special blocks that will slot... Okay. I want to take a little break first. No breaks. Alright, so let's move this to the side. Move our birdhouse to the side. <laughs> so we're going to need... This from slot A. From B, we're going to need... It's these things. Yep. Alright, got those. And I think we're going to need some parts from C and D. Yep, from D. We still have some pieces from A, so let's hold on to that. From D, we're gonna need this one, this one, and this one. Okay, let me make sure there's nothing else we need. Uh, that's it. Here's a pro tip: you can fast forward. Yeah, I don't need it. I already know about that. So, for that one next. So, we got all four of our pieces. Right here. No, five pieces, sorry. Punch these little holes out real quick. little holes come on there we go all right so first thing we need is to make a nice long box so you fold that up there like that fold that like that that like this, that like that. There we go. Good. Like that. And now we're rolling it all into place. Just like that. All right. So now we get this little, this uh, big whoop. This came undone. There we go. So now we got this piece. Fold those in. And we're gonna fold that on top of it. All right. So that's part that part's done. All right. Now we're moving to this piece. Turn that over. Fold that one over on itself like so. And fold the little fold next to it like so. Fold up on that.
good. All right. That folds over there. Okay, this plugs into that. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It looks like a plug. Let me make sure I'm doing that right. Yeah, this piece right in there. Excellent. Alright, fold up like that. So yeah, it should all come together like so. Alright. Next we get these uh, pieces right here. Kind of a weird shape, I agree. Wow. I'm trying to look at this in terms of a geometric figure and I'm, I'm a little bit baffled here. <laughs> Don't know what to expect. Yeah, so it all fits together. Okay, like that. Okay. So now we need this piece. Oh, sorry, this one. Okay, and this is going to be the top half of the main block. Check that it's the right shape. Yep, it's definitely the right shape. Fold all sides up and neatly. Okay, we did that. Okay, then, then slot the part, okay, then slot the part we just made straight through the middle. Okay, like that. I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Because it feels a little weird. Okay, so I think like this. I think that's right. It doesn't feel right. Hold on. All right, look, I guess that is right. All right, uh now for the bottom half of the block shape, crease it carefully and make the perfect shape. I guess it'll all fit together in the end, so. tabs okay looks like everything is going to fit together in a second I hope Okay, 
So it looks like this piece goes over this one. And slides in right there. Yep. So yeah, it pops in right there. It's a little bit more complex than I'm used to so far with this. And everything pops in. This top part's pretty solid, so that's good. I like that when it comes together, it's pretty solid. That's one of my biggest fears, is that this would be some kind of flimsy thing. Now spread these four apart. The sides are out, okay. I think this is going to fit in with this piece. Yep. Not sure if it matters too much, but let me make sure. So that one, that part should go in, let's see. I think, yeah, I guess right there. I guess it doesn't matter too much, all right. Snuggly. All right, that slides in there. I guess yep yeah it looks like that's how you yep okay yeah so I, I thought it was supposed to push down like that be too rigid yep so it should yeah so that's gonna be like a button all right so there's the button thing time for mark okay for marker stickers okay keep the button pressed down so you can so you can stick these on the end. Watch carefully so you can stick them in just the right spots. Oh wow, okay. Okay. This is gonna require a little bit of precision. first one and 
and they actually do sell replacement parts for these labo kits and I can see <laughs> I can see people buying those right, so that right there I hope it's not too, it doesn't have to be too exact. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit off, but I think I got it. Once you've added all four stickers on the sides, we need to a fifth one on the bottom. Okay. And be careful. Sometimes you'll, you might take extra stickers with you if you're not careful. Once you've added all four stickers, we need a fifth one. That's it's longer than the others. Thank you for letting me know that. Sure, the position the sticker correctly. Use a little, use little notches as a guide. Okay. Dang it. Okay. Okay. Thankfully, the, the stickers are, aren't too hard to reposition. Yeah, the stickers are easy to peel off if, it ha if that happens. Okay, let's try this one more time. There we go, that one's a little bit better. Alright. Wow. <laughs> they are not making this easy. Okay, so... We don't have to have this pressed down for this part, and that's good. I can see people having the most problem with this one of any other. I might recommend a pair of tweezers when doing this one. <laughs> Just make sure you have the stickers in the right spot.
Okay, I think I got that about right. Some of the stickers are a tiny bit lopsided, but it looks like I got it right. Hope it works. That's <laughs> it. All right. Just make sure to make sure. Try pressing the button again. Should be able to see the first four stickers popping in and out. Okay, I think that's probably what will affect it then. Those four stickers popping in and out. All right. Now the moment of truth. Should like just pop right in, I guess. All right. Yep, look at that. Pops right in. Do, do, do. Ding dong. <laughs> All right, the button block is complete. Two more blocks to go. You want to take a break? No, sir. Move these to the side. So from A, B, we're going to need, okay, this is going to require six pieces. This one from A. I think we'll be probably be done with A after this one yet. Yep, that's every, that's all from A. So that's in the garbage. Pop out these little holes. Thinking in future videos, I might want to pop out these pieces ahead of time so I have them just to save time. Because we're already about an hour in, and the most important part is playing is actually experiment is actually uh, playing with this. So that's done. And then from B, we're going to need, looks like this piece right here. Yep. All right. I know, I know there's more where that came from, or more we need. Yep, C and D. We're gonna need this little piece that looks kind of like a old-timey can opener, I guess. I don't know. And then this piece right here. Nope, oh, this one right here. Got it. Alright. So let's punch out this. Punch that out. And then I think yeah, let's punch these pieces little pieces out. Alright, I think we got everything we need. flower-looking piece. Turn that over. Fold all six tabs upward neatly. So it should kind of come together. 
All right, next we take uh, the big old complex looking piece. Turn that over. Oh, wow, okay. Seven folds, decrease along. So let's do that. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. Okay, wow, that's pretty, okay. So it's gonna kind of form like a hexagonal looking shape. There we go, just like that. And a little flower piece goes on the cap, like a cap at the bottom. Oh yeah, just push it right on in, all right. Yep. So next we need uh, this piece right heel, uh, here. Folds on over, just like that. Oh, there's a little bit of a, you know, there's a, okay, so yeah, there's two folds basically. First piece goes over like so. And you gotta make sure you straighten out one piece so it fits in this little crevice. I think this will act like kinda like a support almost. There we go. Yeah, there should be a little bit of a gap right there. Now, if you see, if you push it all the way, yeah, you'll see that gap. There are two of these pieces right here. Okay, so we don't need it now. Store it when you keep where you keep your top secret stuff. Ooh, okay. Kind of wonder why they have a spare of this one, unless it breaks easily. Crease. Uh, crease every little thing so it rolls up properly. Oh, good to know. Should roll up just like that. Uh, big stubby fingers have a little bit of a problem with this. <laughs> back all right so this piece goes right there time to this little stopper piece all right that 
guess that goes right, yep, yeah, like that. Oh, no, let's just go a little bit more, okay. Guess I wasn't pushing it all the way through. There we go. Now we fold that part over. Oh yeah, alright, it's pretty solid. This piece. All right, here we go. that up and then we fold that one okay so now we fold it kind of like into a box yep Alright, so that folds up. Oh, it's a good idea to fold this little tab outward. Okay, should have done that. I think I can still do that, you know, yeah, you know, when it's assembled. Alright, good. So that's in there. Now we put the... Slide this all the way through. Just like that, yep. Okay, now we need this little stopper piece. I am constantly amazed of how someone could have come up with something like this. These intricate little pieces. Back to this weird tab. Oh, it's a sound effect tab. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, look at that. Holding that up to the microphone so you can hear it. That's very cool. I like that. We got the basic construction down. Yep. Yep, alright. That's good. Alright, 
Alright, so that's done, but I think we gotta, gotta put stickers on it now. This is the part I don't, I, I like the least. Thankfully they put those little notches in there to help us. Yeah, so we gotta put one right on each notch. Alright. You have stubby fingers. I very much recommend using tweezers to get these stickers on here. Because <laughs> I'm having a dickens of a time trying to get these on. <laughs> There we go. It's not too bad. It's a tiny bit lopsided, but I think it'll work. Oh boy, the triangle pieces now. Shh. Just when you think it couldn't get sim it could get simpler. Nope. And we only need three of these triangle pieces, so be careful. Because the whole thing kind of wants to come off yet. Yeah, this one's a little lopsided. The first one I just put down... I'd like to think it won't matter too much, but it probably might. <laughs> Alright. Let's try to do better with the next two. There we go. That's not too bad. You want to, I guess you want to really make sure that they're in the exact spot. Okay. I try and reattach this first one. It's not. It's bothering me a lot. Thankfully, these stickers come off pretty easily. I think I said this already. Yeah, they come off pretty easily, so you can read. Uh, Move them around and stick them again. Okay, I think that one's better. Right, so yeah, just stick them like so. I hope that'll work.
Okay, finally we'll wrap the longest sticker all around the shaft. Oh boy, alright. This one right here, yep. Yeah, this one might be a little complicated. Yeah, it's gonna, it looks like they gave us enough for us to overlap. That was nice of them. Okay, at least that part was exact enough. Yep. Alright, try turning the shaft again. Can you see the sticker all the way around? Yep. Alright, so that's done. Alright, now let's uh, stick it in the house. Tip. Just fitting like that, yep. So that's okay, so that's the second one. Now we're doing the third one. Yep, the crank block is complete. Just one more block. You want to head straight in yep. We're going straight into it, making the key block. Okay, so from B and C we will need the final pieces of those. Looks like we're in the home stretch here. So let's see, that's from C. That's from C. Alright, so that's garbage. And then this piece right here from B. So those three pieces, and then I think, yep, that B piece, that's garbage. Okay. And then I guess from D, we're going to grab some other stuff. Oh yeah, we're grabbing this thing. Okay, so the bottom one right here that we haven't used yet. So that one looks like we might go back to D later on for something else. But yeah, just these four pieces. That's the last of the pieces we need for the house. Don't get rid of the extra pieces though, they'll come in handy later. Okay. We'll shut that for now. So, now let's store sheet D safely in the box, which we did, and we'll start with this piece right here, yep, punch out these little holes real quick. These little holes get punched out. 
just like that. Okay. So let's see. We'll start with the main short, the main shaft for the key. Okay. This piece has some long, thin fold lines. Let's crease them all carefully. It's a good idea. All right. Did that. And then we gotta crease the tab pieces. So that's done. And then, oh, we're gonna need a, a small rubber band. Yep, got those. Okay, small rubber band. We'll slide the rubber band around these two little tabs. Okay. Got it. Okay, wow, this is intricate. Dang it, okay. It's kind of like threading a needle. Wow, <laughs> trying to get through this little notch right here. It's causing me a lot of grief. <laughs> a lot, okay. Eh, almost. Okay, there we go, that's good enough. Make sure the rubber band looks like this. Oh boy, it looks nothing like that. <laughs> Okay. Let's try this again. Thank God they gave me so many extra pieces. <laughs> Slid it through one way, and then I pulled it through, and then it came right out. Okay. I thought the stickers were annoying. No, the rubber band. <laughs> this rubber band is annoying. Cardboard rubber bands, stickers. It's like someone designed this and <laughs> during an office meeting or something. <laughs> okay. I think that's about right. I think that's right. Okay, so this piece right here, 
Put to the side. Now take this piece. Yep. Okay, fold the lines carefully. that insert the tabs in on both sides and for this okay we just slide them right underneath okay now just lift the middle tab up a bit, and we're finally ready to fit the two pieces together. Good. Before you slide them together, make sure you've got the shaft the right way up. Yep. Alright, shove it on in. I guess you just push that little tab in. Yep. Okay. Alright, so there's that part done. Now we gotta get this thing. Let's see, fold that over. Fold that over. Fold this one. That one. Okay, so fold this all over. Oh, there we go. I'm so glad I none of this is broken yet. <laughs> That's like my worst fear is like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be constructing this and it just completely shatters on camera. <laughs> well, that's the end of the video. <laughs> okay, wow. Hold up, I need to go back a little bit. Okay, so So this part goes in here. Alright, so the rubber band comes out like this, okay, it goes around that thing, there we go, alright, that's there, and it folds up. And we close it in. Good. And the same thing as this one. Yep. And then we just close it up. Push the tabs in. All right. So now, time to insert the third of our little stoppers. Let me just fold that over. All right. That one goes in there. 
until it pops or whatever, make whatever it does. <laughs> Good. All right. That's cool. So the rubber band, so it just like does a little turny thing. Holding up to the camera. Yeah. Should spin right back into position. Yep. All right. So that's done. All right. We got the three blocks. I thought there were four, but I guess I must have mis I must be mistaken. All right. Oh yeah, the stickers, of course. T okay, so this one goes. Let me make sure I'm getting this right. Okay, that one goes like so. Good, and then another little rectangle sticker. Bottom piece. Yep. Hopefully it doesn't have to be like too exact. Okay. Right, same deal with this. Okay, I think that's good, yep. And two of these triangle pieces, which I, I really hate these little triangle pieces. <laughs> they are the most difficult ones to put on. Okay, I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, I think I got it right. Alright. All right, I think that's right. Okay, that's all the stickers we're gonna use for now, but you'll need you'll need the rest for making other things, so store them somewhere safe. Tch, <laughs> just throw it to the side. All right, and let's finish by testing the block in the house. Put the key in the slot. Turn it. Yep. It works. It's a fit. 
Alright, so we have done it. Wow. That was definitely one of the most... Okay, here comes the last step. Are you ready? Start by removing the block from the house. Done. 5 of 5, attaching the Joy-Cons. Okay. So, let's see. Get your console and your Joy-Cons ready. Joy-Con R ready. Okay, now I have my main uh, docked, uh, my Nintendo Switch console. I have that docked right now so I can record this footage, so that will not be happening. But yeah, it's it's okay, we don't really need it. In this, uh, next we do the Joy-Con R. Going in the top piece. Into the chimney. Down like Santa Claus. Alright. And the Toy-Con house is ready. Awesome. Who lives in there? Alright, let's play. And blast off. Why the house is shooting off into space, I'll never understand. <laughs> this is weird. Hello. <laughs> Just shaking it. <laughs> Alright, what can I do for you? Uh, what happens if I turn it upside down? Oh, <laughs> look. I rotate left and, and to the right. Upside down. Is there anything upside down? Nope. Alright, let's uh... Ha, <laughs> shake it some more. Insert the blocks into the windows, okay. Let's start with the little push block. I'm gonna push that right into here. Oh, look at that, alright. Ha, <laughs> that's cool. That's cool, so that's gone. Alright, now let's try the crank block. Just... Yep. Hold on. There it goes. Alright. <laughs> uh, uh, is he getting sleepy? Uh, I made him go to sleep. Wake up! <laughs> okay, it's irritating him now. Alright, let's pull that out. And what other, we got the key block too. I think we have, I think we can insert that to the bottom of the house. Uh. Oh, that's cool. See what happens if I insert it to the side. Oh. Fill in the house with water. <laughs> this is cool. Hope you can breathe underwater, buddy. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> Alright, let's try this in the side. On the left side. Oh, same deal. Alright. Okay. Wonder what happens if I push the push bo uh, block in the bottom. Oh. Oh, oh. Jelly beans. Choose a food with L with L or R and use it to There you go. Oh cool, change its color. Alright. I want to see this black one. Ooh, okay, give you black ears. Try the blue one. Alright, that's only changing your ear color. And then if we put that right here, it just turns things off. What happens if we put it on this side? Same deal. Alright. Then I think this one did that one. Yeah, okay, so that's the same thing here, but what happens if we put it under it? Ooh, what's this? Ah, it's a fan! Okay, this is fun. Feed him more jelly beans. Give him some purple ears. There we go. Nice. Alright. Now, I heard if you, like, combine multiple uh, things, it's, uh, stuff happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that's there. And we got this here. Oh, alright. Yeah, belly, a jelly bean. Feed the food you get, remove the block, and then, and then return to normal. Okay. Alright, so let's try feeding him that. Uh... This is the one we got. I just want to get rid of these jelly beans. Oh. I guess if I feed him, like, maybe multiple, something happens. Right, well, we'll find out later. Uh, let's try the key block and the left one. And the crank block in the bottom. Alright. Oh, alright. Cool. That was a fun little game. Most. Just gotta shoot stuff down. Nice. Oh. There we go. All right.
Okay, we got a bone. I guess this thing eats bones. I'm trying to shoot that little leopard looking candy. There we go. Almost. A little bit more. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Get in there. Alright. <laughs> there we go. I guess that's a fish of some sort. I don't know what that is. Looks like a snail. Come on. Get the strawberry. Come on. Come on. Terrible aim. Almost. There we go. Oh, come on now. I want to try these little things. I want to see what they do. Alright, we got everything. Alright, now let's see what all this cool stuff does. Let's see what the fish does. Ooh, turn them all black. All right. What does this do? I don't know if I should be feeding him all this stuff. That's kind of cool. All right. What about the blue thing? Yeah, I really don't think you should be eating stuff if it's that big. How about the strawberry? Oh, that's cool. Huh. <laughs> what about the bone? Oh, here we go. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Oh, he is cute. He is adorable. All right, um... Yeah, we're having fun right now. Let's see. I think the crank block here... We'll try that. And then the push block down here. Okay, this is cool. Oh. Okay, so I guess... Almost. All right. Yeah, just gotta get that rhythm going. There we go. All right, got some kind of cool candy. All right, let's see how that works. What's this gonna do? Oh, adorable. All right. Love it. That changes his color up a little bit. All right. Oh, he's so adorable. I love him so much. Okay. I'm going to go crazy here. I'm going to insert all three, see what happens. That. Get the water spout there.
Oh, hold on. There we go. That, that there. And then I'm gonna push this one right there. All right, colorful jelly beans. Eating them makes him makes change color slightly. Okay. Oh, okay, this tells me what they do. Snails know what they're doing. I really want to try some cheeses like the like the stuff in the picture at least once in my life. Broccoli is healthy. Broccoli is good. Broccoli is our favorite superfood. Please note, soap is not something human beings should eat, no matter how delicious it smells. The curiously colored mushroom only grows in the darkest woods. Okay. So this tells me more about the items. Be careful not to break it. A pretty, a really pretty acorn. It's really tough to eat it. You'd have to chew very carefully. Perfect dried fish, supposedly used for soup. Dry fish, but fish hate being dry. Sweets, I'll eat them, wrapper and all. <laughs> That's a one-way ticket to a tummy ache. And a jumbled up surprise of a cake. Make it make it with the microwave. What, it, what What's it do? Eat some and see. Okay, so that just kind of tells you what each item does. Alright, now let's try this one. I got the key in the left and I got the crank in the right. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Let's see. Oh. Okay, I'm putting this one in the bottom. Oh, no, that's the same thing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on a second. Let's see what the broccoli does. Let's shoot that down. I think the I think that just that that, that just changes the color. But I want to make sure. And I want that skull candy. There we go. Let's get that one. Come on, almost. There we go. That's the one I wanted. This is so much fun. Alright. Let's try eating the broccoli first. This, after everything he's eaten today, this is probably the healthiest. <laughs> Ooh, what's this do? Okay, it's a really weird glowing mushroom. And he's purple. Alright. Striped candy, that just probably changes the design. Aw, oh, adorable. I don't think you should be eating something with a skull on it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that looks so cool. Alright, last one, guys. I'm going to do the press button one right here. And the key one on the bottom. Alright. Okay. Uh, oh, no. oh, oh. Okay. Try again. I gotta touch. I gotta try to avoid the spikes. Oh, dang! Okay, I think if I like. Okay, I'm not going to get too far on this one. <laughs> Change the room up a little bit. There we go. 
Let's see what these beans do. If I just change color. Oh, that's kind of cool. Alright. Well, that is going to wrap things up for today, guys. Uh, had a lot of fun playing with this little cat creature. Uh, but... Uh, make sure you uh, stay tuned for more uh, Nintendo Labo videos. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays Game, and stay tuned because next time it looks like we're going to be doing the motorbike or the piano. We'll get to the piano eventually. <laughs> uh, but until then, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off, and have a good night, guys.